welcome to core program in this video we discuss about asp.net core hosting model before starting this video please go through the previous video of main method in asp.net core so let's understand first what is hosting model think that once you successfully developed your web application what should be next step you have to do the answer is hosting we have to host our application to the server so that other people can access it the process of deploying, installing an application into the server is called as hosting. ASP.NET Core hosting model has divided into two types. First one is in process, second one is out of process. Earlier version of ASP.NET Core was we have only one hosting model which is out of process but after due to performance enhancement, in process hosting model is introduced. For better understanding, move to the ASP.NET Core application and discuss there what is in process hosting model in details. So let's first understand how to configure in process hosting in ASP.NET Core. To configure the in process hosting for ASP.NET Core web application, there is only one simple setting. Right click on your application, go to the edit project file. Here the extension is .cspros. In this .NET Core application, the SDK is target to .NET Core 3.1. You can see the ASP.NET Core hosting model is defined as in process. When you create a new ASP.NET Core web application by using any template, by default the project file is created with in process hosting, which is used for hosting the application in IIS or IIS Express scenarios. For better understanding, navigate to the program.cs file. When the application will run, then create default builder sees the value as in process for the ASP.NET Core hosting model element in the project file. Behind the scene, the create default builder method internally calls the use IIS method, then host the application inside the IIS worker process or W3WP EXE or IIS and IIS Express.exe. From the performance point of view, the in process hosting model delivers significantly higher request throughout than the out of process hosting model. You must know, in case of IIS, the process name that will be used for the execute the application is w3wp.exe. Similarly, if it is IIS Express, then the process name will be IIS Express.exe. In that particular application, let's see which process are used. To check that, to navigate the startup.cs, just remove that and add just add system dot diagnostics dot process dot get current process dot process name that's it then run our application you can see the dot net core application uses IIS express when you move to the visual studio click here stop debugging you can see the .NET Core application uses default as IIS Express. So let's understand what is IIS Express. The IIS Express is a lightweight self-contained version of IIS. It is optimized for web application development. The most important point is that we use only in development, not for production. If production, we generally use IIS. In our later video session, we will discuss how to deploy an ASP.NET Core application in IIS. Let us discuss another hosting model that name is auto process. Here auto process is consists of two web server. One is internal web server, another is external web server. The internal web server is called as Kestrel. And the external web server can be IIS, Nginx or Apache. So let's first understand what is Kestrel. Kestrel is a cross-platform web server for ASP.NET Core. It is supported on all platforms and versions that .NET Core supports. It is included by default as internal server in ASP.NET Core. Kestrel can be used by itself as an A server that is internet facing web server that can directly process the incoming HTTP request to the client. In Kestrel, the process is used to host the offers .NET.exe. When you run a .NET Core application using .NET Core CLI or you can say command line and interface the application uses as Kestrel web server. Our next video, we go through the details about the Kestrel server. With the in-process hosting model, there is only one server, that is IIS. 
so in case of Infosys hosting model we do not have any performance penalty for navigating the request between the internal and external web servers this is the reason why the Infosys hosting model delivers significantly higher requests throughout that the outposts hosting in this picture we have to describe Infosys hosting that means when the request comes through the internet it go to the application using w3wp exe the request is processed then it responds back to the server in next video we discuss about castle server in details for more details you can visit core program website the link is available in the description box do like and subscribe for more upcoming videos thanks for watching